The next part of the uh, part is your allergy informatics. So what exactly is allergy informatics? <clears throat> First, let's understand what is an allergy. So allergen, okay, it binds with your IgE antibodies, okay. Now these allergens can, could be a pollen or any of that thing. So these allergens bind with your Ig, okay, uh, which are present on your mast cells. And this induces some sort of an inflammatory mediators. And this inflammatory mediators is responsible for the allergy. Okay, so your allergens bind to your Ig which are present on your muscles which induce some sort of an inflammatory mediators and this in results into the various allergies which is there. Now, uh, your allergens, when I'm talking about your allergy informatics, so that is your uh, 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 computational studies when it comes to these allergens or your allergy. So there are various tools which can help us to predict these allergens which is there. Okay, and uh, these allergy prediction tools are Alcpred, uh, Allermath, APPEL and Evaler. Now, uh, I am not mentioning what are the methods which are present in these prediction tools because if you look at the look at the back end of all of these tools, they follow the same methods which has been used in your B cell prediction or your T cell prediction, like your HMM, ANN, machine learning. Okay, structure based, sequence based, all of these methods which you which we study in the previous methods are also used for predicting your allergy prediction. So, um, when, so when we are talking about uh, immuno, uh, immunomics uh, uh, tools and algorithms, uh, these are the various methods that we saw for your um, B cell prediction, T cell prediction and your allergy informatics. Okay, understood. So the last part is nothing but your application of your uh, immunoinformatics. Your uh, immunoinformatics plays a very critical role when we are uh, talking about your reverse engineering or your vaccine design. So uh, in your vaccine design, okay, uh, when we want to identify uh, what are the um, uh, uh, various uh, surface antigens, okay, or what are the uh, various uh, bacteria or the uh, viruses, okay, which can be attenuated, okay, in order to develop your uh, vaccine, okay, that is where your immunoinformatics can play a very important role. Also, something what we call as uh, when so if you see this word called as reverse engineering, this is something what we call as your reverse vaccinology, where you're actually initially predicting your um, genomics. Okay, uh, so uh, instead of directly going into the protein, we predict the genomics, and from the genomics, we predict. Uh, the protein of the interest. What is that? Okay, so this is called as reverse engineering for vaccine uh, design. The next one is your immune system modeling. So when I'm talking about immune system modeling, it is nothing but your uh, modeling of your proteins for your uh, antigen and your antibodies. Third, uh, a big role of immune informatics for cancer diagnosis and uh, therapy. And uh, last is your systems biology approach. So uh, systems biology approach is where uh, you understand the various protein-protein interactions or your antigen-antibody interactions and uh, using these antigen-antibody interactions which interact with various further proteins, uh, you can develop a personalized medicine. So you can also have something called as a protein or a drug interaction and using your protein-drug interaction, uh, you can understand what are the various biomarkers and from studying the biomarkers, you could uh, narrow yourself down to the personalized medicine. So these are the various applications of your uh, immunoinformatics, what is there, okay. So in this entire uh, immunoinformatics, we looked at the following things, what is, um, how does your immune system work, what was the purpose of developing uh, the immunoinformatics, uh, you looked at a little bit of history of how the immunology actually came into being, uh, then we saw what are the various data sources from which we can get your immunological data. Uh, then we studied uh, what are the various prediction tools uh, for uh, your immunology, your B cell prediction, uh, B, that is the epitope prediction basically. Your B cell epitope, T cell epitopes or your allergen epitope can be predicted using various methods. And last was your applications of immunoinformatics. Hopefully you've understood how, uh, what exactly is immunoinformatics and how it really works. Um, 
uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe uh, to my channel if you have any other um, suggestions on what all content should i actually or what on videos should i make you can write down in the comments uh, so uh, thank you very much take care and bye bye <laughs>